when he traded. So, US dollar was notably uh, lower, what was seen as a dovish FOMC meeting on Wednesday. Uh, the Fed 2024 median dot plus didn't change, it's still their free cuts for this year priced in. Um, the, but the, where the dovish part came in was the press with Chairman Powell downplaying those uh, hot inflation figures from January and February. Um, so this dovish tilts or risk assets really take off and, and the US dollar dump there. Um, dollar yen bucked the trend uh, of US dollar weakness, um, pushing up to 152 before that res- for the result of the FOMC there. Um, it did pair some of those gains later in the session though. Um, a hawkish BOJ source reporting in Nikkei that suggested another hike could come in July or October, uh, also supporting the yen somewhat. Um, there's also speculation yen weakness were to continue that there may be some intervention. ING noting that local accounts felt that uh, 155 might be the, the new line in the sand there. Uh, gold ripped to all time highs on the, with, on that weak dollar and, and falling yields after the FOMC. Uh, XAU USD hitting a high of 22.22 US dollars an ounce um, before pulling back somewhat, just holding above. Uh, that $2,000 an ounce, which was just above the old high set back in, in March. So today ahead, we have Bank of England, great decision, also one out of the Swiss National Bank.